the things that we're working on in our education system is overcoming our attachment to views, overcoming our attachment to views. And that sounds really heavy at first, so I'm going to explain it, but it is one of the things we're working on is our tendency to get caught up in our views. Fixed views are the ways we've solidified our point of view, and they're based on all sorts of things. We have these ideas in our minds about the way things are and about the way things should be. We have expectations, and often we see things and we create stories about them, and then we're surprised when the reality of the situation doesn't match the stories and expectations we've created. So what do I mean by that? For example, if I see someone wearing, wearing an NRA hat, I immediately have judgments about them. I immediately think I know things about them, and that's not fair, and it's not true. And there are all sorts of things like that. So I might also think a situation is going to be very crowded, so I'm very anxious the whole time, and then maybe it's crowded, maybe it's not. We have that all the time where we expect to have a bad experience, and then our experience is bad because we expect it. And we also put labels on the entire world with our judgments. We say this is bad, this is good, this is taking a long time, this is weird. And we can get all bent out of shape by these views and by these stories we're telling. A lot of these start when we're kids, so they're hard for us to see through. And we also really mess up our happiness when we cling really hard to things shouldn't be like this. Things shouldn't be like this. Because things are however they are, and it would be a better, um, a better, a more helpful response to just see things the way they are and just think, okay, well, right now it's like this. I'm going to try to make it not like this anymore, and I hope this changes soon, but right now it's like this. That's the healthy attitude to come at a, a irritating or bad or difficult situation is just right now it's like this, and... Let's try to shift things. We want to learn how to see our experience clearly without letting our views get in the way. Because the truth is that a lot of the time, our views shade our whole perception. And we see we don't see the world as it is. We see it as we are. We see our expectations overlaying our entire experience. And that can be very confusing, and it can lead us down some very harmful trains of thought. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about working on views. And I'll probably talk more about this later, but um, I'm going to go for now. But thank you for taking the time to watch this very short video on clinging to views. Thank you.